Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy, uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Ah, ma questo è il gioco che dicevano che era simile a Death Stranding perché era Corriere Simulator, me lo ricordo dalle tre adesso.
You know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. So, you'll have to get it out of the back. Answer. Phew. Finally done. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, 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 one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Ficato palese. No roleplay, no roleplay. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage!
Where's the package? That's lighter than I thought. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Hmm. New in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away.
actually enjoying this. Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? No, no, it's just so hard, so don't worry about you Oh, Lord have mercy. No offense, Maureen, but I'm gonna back away slowly. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now.
Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Big cuddly guy. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Yeah. A teddy bear is a poor substitute for a real hug, that's for sure. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve.
in a few days. I won't even need that map. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Bear Creek again. Oh, right, Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. There's a new face. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the... I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap.
Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only for two weeks. Dad drove that truck for decades. Yeah, I can't complain. And you? Enjoying yourself over there? <sighs> I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Hmm, let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing... party invitations?
Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. <laughs> Touché, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's... <laughs> it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Hope you like The Postman Always Rings Twice. You only have to watch it once. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute! Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted! Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. 
Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again.
Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catato- Sorry, heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Some are faster, some are slow and 
Mr. Mackey, I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? I'm sure she has. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Sounds good? Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam.
Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Okay, sir. That a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day.
Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet, bye. <sighs> All right, well, let's watch this. Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a... Positive for that key. Okay, folks, let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well... It's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. You're selling them short. Maybe. Just wish I wasn't the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan.
Not sure I like the sound of that. I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. You in? Sorry, Angie, but I really can't. Boring. Uh, some other time, then. Maybe. Later. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a flag. You got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I only just started, and so I'm not sure yet. Eh, yeah, you got time to make up your mind. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. This is not the right package. What on earth did these folks order? Hi, 
Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Well, being back feels a bit strange. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. I like what you did with the place. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We'd been married for so long, it hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did, for me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Ah, uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. I'm not sure if we can just pick up where we left off. Well, there's one way to find out. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. 
Answer. Hope nobody comes and steals this. Here's your mail. Look who's back! More Timur! 
Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. <laughs>